What's up, fellas? I got a tough one tonight. I got to build a high temperature valve for a lead smelter. And this may come up for aluminum as well. Most people just pack a piece of insulation in a hole and then dig it out, which is kind of pain in the neck. So I'm going to make a valve that um, stops a flow of metal and then releases it. But I'm not quite sure how I want to go about it yet. I've got some thinking to do here. Um, I'm definitely going to use this as the main valve component. I just don't know yet how I'm going to incorporate it. I don't like the look of the seat of this one. I feel like this seat's going to leak. I could turn it down in a lathe, I guess, but not a lot of money on this job, so... Okay, so here is three of the four parts. Everything's too darn hot to touch. This is going to be my valve body. That's going to stop the flow of lead by screwing this in and out. And here is the valve body with the drain port. That's still a little too hot. And I'm working on a discharge spout here also. So I think this thing's gonna work out pretty good. Sorry for being so boring and not showing you guys what I'm actually doing. I had to seat this valve. And man, was that tough to do. The arrangement I had to go with, I had to stack this thing up. This will only go to like 42 degrees. And this is a 45 degree angle. So we've got kind of a approximate seat up but it appears to be doing good. This is the valve open, this is the valve closed. That's our homemade valve seat there. Seems to be doing pretty good. Fits in there nicely. I could do a grease test and look at the fit, but I ain't got time for all that. So I hope this strategy works here. I'm just gonna turn this until it just touches. And I'm gonna weld that right there. You can kind of see the valve seat in there. Just touch it. I'm gonna get a little tack weld here and there. And we'll jam it, bam it. All right. So here it is. That's fully open. And that's closed with a nice valve seat. That ought to hold the liquid lead in there. I like it. The action is very smooth. This thing's gonna work out just fine, I think. Okay, so now we gotta weld this snout on there, but we gotta be real careful. If I just throw this on here and start welding away, we're going to sugar the inside of this pipe and this pristine valve action that I'm getting is going to be no more. So we're going to be real careful welding this on here. Very careful. Okay guys, so essentially the way this lead valve will work, this is going to have high temperature lead going through it, is you would drill a hole in the side of your lead smelting pot with a step drill. Add a little bit of high refract, high temperature refractory sealant, and then it's going to screw on like that. There's a nut edge on here that'll allow you to tighten this pretty tight. You would tighten it as tight as possible. There's not very many threads on there, but there should be enough to get a good grab. And probably not going to be able to see down in there, but. that's closed right there then we open it and that's open all right fellas this right here is a high temperature lead valve for a smelting pot a very large one and I built this for Aaron on short notice he asked me if I had any advice Told him I'd build him one for a hundred bucks. So this is what we got. 